Prime is being investigated by the FDA. Headline's a little misleading. I did see that, though. I didn't look too deep into it, so maybe it's not that misleading, but I did see that they were conducting an investigation based on, like, the amount of caffeine. But from everything I understood, the prime energy formula, the caffeine is 200, which is, like, two cups of coffee. Like, that's less than, like, some of the other energy drinks as well. Like, that's not a crazy amount, so it must have been something deeper to it that I didn't see on, like, my first reading. Yeah, 200 milligrams. Half a dozen Cokes or nearly two Red Bulls. I don't think that's accurate, though, is it? Let me see. Because I'm pretty sure Monster's, like, 260 or something. I think Red Bull might just be... Yeah, Red Bull's... 111 and then monster oh monsters even less wait what monsters 86 what am i thinking of which one of them's like 260 oh rain it's rain that's the one yeah rain's 300 bang yeah what's bang bang's 300 <laughs> Yeah, so it just seems a little odd to go after Prime for the 200 when some of the other big players are, like, more than that. It just seems a little weird. Celsius, 200. G Fuel, 300. Oh yeah, G Fuel even has some 300 as well. They've kind of transitioned most of them to being 140, though. I just double-checked. It seems like all the ones that used to be 300, they brought down to 400. Or, sorry, 140. Sorry. <laughs> Except for some of their legacy ones, it seems. But, like, the, the fla my flavor for it, I believe, is 140. It's either 140 or 160. I can't remember. They're going after Prime because they allege that it's marketed to children. Who is the main target of Prime? It's kids under 18. So that's like the core behind this then? Not like the actual amount of caffeine relative to the other big players? Bang is legitimately all catered to kids though. That's a weird argument to make specifically for Prime when Bang's entire marketing campaign was here's a bunch of like, it, like real extreme stuff and then here's nearly naked girls with Bang in their butt cheeks. By Bang. Appealing to horny teens. So it seems weird to single out Prime for that when half of Bang's marketing strategy was for horny teenagers. Super creatine, though. Yeah, super creatine, though. Fucking turbocharge your life. Thanks for your sub Kyber. Let me give sub Kyber. Maybe sub Obi Wan. Kids see it on their phones as they scroll, and then they actually have a need for it, Schumer said. And the problem here is that the product has so much caffeine in it, it puts Red Bull to shame. <clears throat> I mean, not really, man. <laughs> it, 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 it does have more than Red Bull. But, I mean, again, bang, in the same market, more, well, I, I don't know about more successful than Prime. Still very successful, has more than Prime. Same with Rain. Same with many others, I'm sure, that I don't feel like looking up. Ghost energy. What's ghost have? Ghost has 200. And ghost is literally marketed to children with their flavors. I don't know a ton about ghost, but I know they sponsor like esports stuff. So yeah, I, I imagine that it's also marketed to teenagers as well. Kids. Same market that Prime's capturing. I don't know, it just seems odd that they're targeting Prime in particular when so many other energy drinks fall into the same category with the same level of caffeine or more. Just odd. Is Prime labeled a sports drink and not an energy drink? They have two, right? They have the sports drink and an energy drink. I think they're separate. I think their sports drink is their hydration one, and their energy drink is their energy one. But let me double check. Full disclosure, I've only had Prime once. It's fine. I don't really have a horse in this race. 
Wasn't there a thing about the hydration one not actually hydrating? Yeah, there was. I do vaguely remember that. Prime is marketed to kids under 12, though, not teens. Where are you pulling that information from? That's not even the argument they're making. Talking about kids under 18. How would you even target kids under 12? You'd have to be running ads on YouTube kids specifically. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even really be able to tap into that market unless you're running ads on fucking Nick Jr. Meanwhile, they sponsor, like, the UFC and shit. Dude, my seven-year-old daughter's asking for Prime. I, hey, I'm, I'm saying... I'm not saying that I don't think kids drink Prime, obviously. You can see in the UK, it is literally used as a form of cool currency. I get it, but I don't think it's targeting under 12-year-olds. Teenagers, definitely. Under 18, definitely. But specifically under 12, I, I highly doubt it. I don't know how they would even go about doing that. Through YouTube videos. You can't target an audience through YouTube videos for under 12 specifically unless you're on the YouTube Kids app. Unless the only videos they sponsor are Roblox and... that What's other? Minecraft, I guess. Thanks, Reese of Walnuts. No one over 12 watches Logan Paul. Yeah, and that's a, fi that's a fine argument to make. But you can't say that because he promotes it in his YouTube videos, it's it's designated for under 12. Like his fucking podcast, again, I imagine his audience skews mainly young, but his fucking podcast is, you know, not for, you know, PG audience. They have like porn stars on his podcast and shit. They had Steve-O with his wiener out in an episode and shit. Thanks for sub Celtic and Walnuts. Just because it's P not PG doesn't mean kids can't access it. Who's making that argument? Who are you arguing with? Because it's not me. All I'm saying is he's not directly targeting under 12-year-olds by putting it in his YouTube videos. Like I said, his audience definitely skews young, but he's not targeting them by having Prime on a fucking porn star podcast episode. The argument just doesn't make sense. Obviously, kids can fucking access it. But that's not his main target. If it was, you'd be seeing Prime ads in a Logan Paul YouTube kids production. Exactly. Kids watch everything. It doesn't make them the target. 100%. There is not a single piece of content on the internet that kids don't access. And that's the reality of it. But it doesn't mean that the kids are being targeted for the fucking Prime advertisement. Mostly see teens buying stuff at my store and we sell a couple pallets a week. Yeah, during Logan Paul's CryptoZoo scam, I was actually shocked that every single person that was interviewed was an adult and, an, and a Logan Paul fan. I, I have to imagine those are outliers. I still really think his audience skews young. But yeah. Kids don't have money to buy crypto. Well, they don't have money to buy Prime either. They need their parents to buy it for them. So I would have still thought that you know, the adults that were interviewed would be like, my kid told me about it, or my kid made me buy Zoo Token. But that was never the case. They're so like, I was a huge fan of Logan Paul. I really trusted him to make an incredible NFT game. 